So the Chase Qualifier is next then. With the Starters Orders series. Far on the final week of the season. And two miles and seven furlongs again. And 0-120 to 120 as per with the hurdle earlier. And it's fire at the top for Joshua Sutherland. Lion Zone, Alex Cherry. Discover Ages for Darren Thompson. Stormcrow, Padre Hogan. Cairo, Stu Gray through the Valley of Jumps. For Obi Wan, the thinker, Martin Leadham, Rab Corbett, Alex Cherry, and Misty Rain for Obi Wan. So nine in this. Called in and away. And if I remember right, there's a very long run in after the final fence in this. The short run to the first, and there's a fuller already. It's into the valley of the jumps for Obi Wan has gone. So a fuller at right, the very first. Luckily, he's still got another one going, but it's going to be disappointing when your horse falls at the first, so through the valley of the jumps, gone at the first, and at the third then now, and discover ages, and another one's down, it's fire, now you don't get that many Joshua Sutherland horses in these low grade not to on 20s, but he's got one in it today, and he's now not got one in it, so it's discover ages, who's in the lead, from Rab Corbett in second, Lion Zone is third, Misty Rain fourth, and the thinker, Storm Crow and Cairo, so two out already then, and Just lose them in the trees for a second or two and discover Aegis is in the lead coming down towards the fourth of 15. With a clear lead. Darren Thompson. The Alex Cherry pair second and third. Rab Corbett and Lion Zone. Just between those two misty rain for Obi Wan as they get over the fourth. Then comes the thinker. Storm Crow for Padre Hogan and finally Cairo or Stu Gray at the back and if it's got anything or turn a foot like it's stable might have in the last race it'll be in the lead in a minute but they're getting quite well strung out and discover Aegis probably the class act in the race certainly from the most successful stable represented at the moment especially now Joshua Sutherland is out and Darren Thompson's probably the top trainer in the race Rab Corbett is in second. Misty Rain is third. And there's a gap to the thinker who's just shown fourth as they get over the water. Pass the shoot again. And Discover Ages is over the seventh with a clear lead of about two and a half lengths to Rab Corbett in the second. And, oh, he's gone! Would you believe it? Discover Ages stood off that one and crashed out. So you would argue the two most sort of fancied runners in the race and the big two biggest tables have both fallen and left this one wide open now and it's Rab Corbett who's in the lead for Misty Rain in second and then Lion Zone is third the Thinker is fourth and then Stormcrow is fifth and then Cairo is at the back but they're although they're in Indian file they're pretty closely grouped and they've only got about I would say what eight to ten lengths between first and last and an action packed race already and Rab Corbett is in the lead by about two lengths to Misty Rain in second. Lion Zone is third. The Thinker is fourth. Stormcrow is fifth. And Cairo sitting at the back with all the others in his sights ready to pounce and make his move. But it's Rab Corbett who's got the lead now that Discover Aegis has departed the race. Rab Corbett from Misty Rain and Lion Zone over the 10th. The Thinker was down on his nose there. And he's been relegated to last but one now with just Cairo behind. But Rab Corbett's the leader by three. To Misty Rain in the yellow jacket second as they get over this ditch. And they're all over that one nicely with Rab Corbett in the lead. Poor Alex Jerry who's still got two on their feet. And Misty Rain is in second. Stormcrow is in third. Lion Zone is fourth. Cairo's now caught alongside the Thinker after the Thinker made that mistake a couple of fences ago. Misty Rain is still trying to challenge Rab Corbett. They come round this turn. They race down towards the next. And it's Rab Corbett on Misty Rain. At the fourth last. They land together. The fourth last was the water. They've got three more fences to take. And it's Rab Corbett 
Oh, Misty Rain in second. The Thinker's moved through to third, but was out jumped there by Lion Zone. Also trying to run again there. Stormcrow and Cairo over the second last they go. And suddenly the field now really does begin to bunch. And it's the Alex Cherry Pair 1 and 2, where a Thinker is being driven up the inside as they race towards the final fence there over the final fence. And Rab Corbett still in the lead. The Thinker's in second. Lion Zone is in third. Then Stormcrow, Misty Rain, and finally Cairo. Now the longest running in jumps racing. Four furlong running. And it's Rab Corbett in the lead from the Thinker in second. Then comes Stormcrow running on in the third. Lion Zone is back in fourth. Misty Rain is beaten. Cairo has gone past that one. But it's Rab Corbett from the Thinker. Thinker's trying to close on Rab Corbett. Rab Corbett being pushed along and sticking on in the lead. The Thinker's trying to wear him down. They're racing to the final two furlongs. It's Rab Corbett from the Thinker. Stormcrow's trying to run on. The Thinker's beginning to get up on the outside. The Thinker pokes his head in front. It's the Thinker from Rab Corbett. As they swing for home now, they've got a furlong to go. And it's the Thinker who's in the lead from Rab Corbett in second. The rest are nowhere. And it's the Thinker who's going to race away and take it. And up towards the line, the Thinker's going to win it from Rab Corbett. Corbett in second and then Cairo back in third, Stormcrow four, then Lion Zone and Misty Rain. And a race that almost turns into a flat race, doesn't it, at the end there. Four furlong running is a little bit strange, but it's a win for the thinker. He made one really bad mistake around the back. That takes it. So the thinker is the winner for Martin Lidham. Rap Corbett second for Alex Cherry. Cairo was third for Stu Gray. Storm Crow for Padraig Hogan was fourth. And Lion Zone for Alex Cherry was fifth.